All right, guys, this is what we ended up with. You can see we got all of our former drain in there. You can see how we got our rock chiseled back just far enough. Pretty tight little fit. But uh, Jason's getting the crossover pipe in there and to get the former drain draining from one side to the other. We got our foundation drain. Ran down over the hill to the pond down there. We built that lake back this about two months ago. Probably did a 25, maybe a 30 foot cut in places, never hit a single rock. Come up here 100 yards, dig his basement, and fight rock for two days. I guess that's just the way it works out. But we're going to throw some rock around here and hopefully get some concrete in here before the rain hits later today. Let's do it. That's what we end up doing with all the dirt. We come out of the basement. We kind of just tucked it in that little corner there next to that dam. Uh, pulled topsoil back put all the dirt crap in there and then flop the topsoil back over on top of it. Kind of made it blend in with the yard, didn't turn out too shabby. what it looks like before concrete. We got all our rebar in, got all the rock in. Jason's gonna roll a piece of pipe over there. We're gonna use it. We gotta put it underneath the footer over here for a sleeve or a floor, possible floor drain. So we're gonna notch it in underneath there. So I believe we are ready. So here's the plan. We're gonna have him pull up here at the edge of this concrete. We don't wanna bust it. Shoot over, fill all the can, and then we'll start loading in the traco bucket and uh, packing the rest of it around there. That's the plan, anyways. We'll see what happens.
plastic bottles on there for safety. Got your rebar sticking up to go on the walls. Those milk bottles are OSHA approved. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I seen the OSHA regulation on the back where it said it was approved for this situation. That's what the number one and the triangle means. Hey, I, I, don't, I don't think we have that big a rebar down here for those big jugs. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's for a half inch. Oh, that's for a half inch. Yeah. All right. All right, next step's walls. Take uh, yeah. his rebar up without making an absolute mess out of it. Been fiddling and messing with brace racks for 12 or 13 years. I don't think I've ever had two of them get tangled together until the one day I decided to go video it. That's all right. We got her. They're on the or it's on the trailer. We're loaded. We decided not to get the uh, the box. We just threw some stuff in the back of the truck. I don't have anything up there with forks to unload it, and we don't really need that much out of it. So we're gonna head on up the road get back into where we need to and get what we got unloaded.
man. You guys are doing a great job. Oh. A ton of rebar by hand it wasn't the funnest, but uh, we got it nevertheless, unloaded and ready to go to work.